Hi, I'm Kessa, and I am here today to unbox my Julep Maven uh, April box, I think. No, I guess it's my May box. Okay, I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> have to figure that out still with them. I signed up in late March. I had a coupon code, so I'm also going to review most of what I got in March. Um, my favorite item that I got in my original box. I actually have already misplaced. And it was a nail polish. It uh, came with this guy. There was So there was a set of two and it was a very like chick Easter yellow kind of pearlescent. And it was bright and almost neon but not quite but poppy and adorable. Loved it. Think I left it in the hotel in Vegas, kind of sad. But I also got this color, which um, here I uh, have on here. It's a very like subdue nude, um, kind of khaki, I guess. And it's it's just for like a very neutral environment, or you can kind of jazz it up with nail art. If I can't find that yellow, I actually may buy it because I loved it, and I'm hoping it's my friend's car. But if it's not, I may buy it because it was the perfect yellow. I like tried to have yellow nail polishes a hundred times and none of them worked until that one. So it's great. <laughs> if you can find it, if you got it, it's great. This color is called uh, Deborah, and from what I can tell all of the polishes are girls names. So sorry for my hair and my face. Um, the other item that I got I'm actually wearing and it is the uh, volumizing American Beauty Mascara by Julep and I was trying to do this video once before but I was having some technical difficulties uh, so I actually put it on for you it definitely gives my lashes curl and length um, volume arguable this is definitely like my daytime mascara because it's not as bold and a statement as my Colossal that I use by Maybelline, but I love mascara and I definitely like how this one applies. Um, as you can see, the brush is kind of uh, one of those like rubber fine brushes. And if you can't tell, but the actual mascara is kind of fibrous, which I think is what they say gives you the volume. And I mean, it gives you some volume. It definitely gives you curl and length. Um, and it's a nice look and it goes on really nice and not chunky. I've been using it for about two weeks and it hasn't gotten like dried out or anything weird. So I'm excited to add this to my repertoire. But um, yeah, so happy with that product. Not sure it's volumizing. Uh, this nail polish color, I signed up for the Boho Glam. It actually says it's classic with a twist, but uh, it was in my Boho Glam box and I think it's great. Um, I don't know how much I'll use it, but it is a it is a nice color to have in the box. And the box was free with my coupon code. I just had to pay $3.99 for shipping. So I actually was planning on canceling because I didn't think that box was so exciting that I wanted to pay $20 the following month. But I thought I had to cancel like by May 20th. And anyways, I didn't. I had to cancel by April 20th. And so... I was confused that I thought that was my April box, but I guess this is either my April or my May. I need to look at my account. Um, but this is so, I already opened it. Like I said, I had a little trouble shooting the video, but everything comes like in this little box. It says Julep Maven. And this box packed a lot of punch for its size. My first box was kind of boring. This had like a cute paper. Uh, you know, it's not really a reusable amount or anything, but it's a nice touch when things come packaged pretty. And it had a little quote, and it says, Life is a lot like jazz. It's best when you improvise. And it, see, this is why it says julep in May. Um, I definitely got this yesterday. It's April 30th. So I I don't know how, they, how their shipping works exactly. Sorry about that. Um... It also came with kind of like a set the stage, so it shows you what you're getting in the box, and very excited about all those things. Um, 
and it also like has on the back instead of like product descriptions it kind of has like a suggestion style card so that's kind of nice especially for someone like me and still learning how to accessorize at 25 um, this was the first thing that popped up so these are absolutely adorable I love the color coral and I think the white is always cute I will have a hard time using them because I'm not good at that, but I've already thought maybe in a braid I can, can use in that way. Um, so we saw the lipsticks on the cover and they came in this adorable box. It says, Silky Little Lip Colors Inspired by the Roaring Twenties. I'm going to attempt to try them and blot them. Um, I also already did this in my last attempted video, so my lips are a little bit red and dry, but yeah, so I'm going to start with the lightest color first, which is T for two, and it's kind of this rosy nude. It, it, yeah, it's pink, I guess, but it's a very soft rosy pink, and they have like a kind of nice like citrus smell. They glide on super smooth and soft. And we definitely do give your lips that silky finish that it says. I got mascara all over me showing you guys that. So, this color, maybe just shine. It's kind of all you're getting out of it. Um, sorry, the hair is driving me crazy. Uh, the next color is the Satin Doll, which I was really excited for this color. It isn't as exciting as I wanted it to be, but it is this kind of orange, coral red, kind of poppy color. It also kind of has a citrusy smell to it. it these, these lipsticks feel really good. Like, they feel like they, well, I do like it a lot. It's just not as maybe orangey as I wanted it to be. Maybe if my, I'm a little bit tan right now for myself, so maybe if my skin color was a little bit more pale, it would look more orange. Um, we all know lipsticks look different on everyone, but they feel like they're going to be pretty durable, yet they still are smooth. So, I do like that, and I like that they don't smell like wax. So, though my lips are definitely tinted from actually probably this color, this is the Lady in Red, and it is your true red, like what I think of as like original red lipstick. So I love this. Definitely a great color oh, for a night out. Just really simple smoky eyes. This, your showstopper red right there. Not using a mirror and using a computer to put on lipstick is a little bit difficult for me. So, I love these. I like the small size. I actually don't mind that it's not like a full size product. I would prefer to have the options of three colors than the one. And they're great for travel. The other two things that came, and they kind of come, well, oh yeah, they come wrapped up with a little bow because they are the the product that you're actually subscribing for their nail colors and this is kind of the similar um, this is of the boho glam collection as well and it, it's Alice and it, this is actually similar I know that's hard to imagine but similar to the yellow as far as like the pearlescentness um, the neon well not neon but like kind of pastel-y uh, poppy color and you can see it here um, it does need a couple coats. This is just one coat. But yeah, the yellow was more bright 
kind of almost looked like chalk um, a little bit. And then this is the kind of royal blue purple. Sorry, that's mascara, I think. Um, but color, and it's very pretty. Um, it's more of a winter color, in my opinion. Or it may go on my toes a couple times, because I do like darker colors usually on my toenails. But as far as my fingers, I'd probably wait till winter. Or I am experimenting with nail art lately, so... I may try these two together as kind of a wild combination and um, put that video up later. But so that is everything, my review. Oh, also about the nail colors. Um, I don't exactly know Julep's like story, but um, I know they're made in Seattle, Washington, the United States. They don't smell so toxic um, and they don't, they don't really go on. They go on a little bit thicker than other nail polishes so you want to be a little bit careful with your application um, you have to like really like kinda clean the brush off first go slow so I do like the colors I like the product um, I think that all in all it's worth twenty dollars but like so I'll have spent twenty five pretty much total and I love everything that I got I'm sad about the yellow I hope that it turns up so if you are interested, if you like to change your nails on a kind of weekly basis, um, this is a great way to get a variety of products and colors. I mean, if you could imagine the yellow being here. So it, it's great. Um, this would have cost me easily that much in stores. I know, you know, every time I go to Target, I pick up an Essie. It's the same. Um, doesn't have the greatest lasting power either. I think that might have something to do with, it's kind of like a softer polish. I don't know if that makes sense. It goes on thicker, it's a little bit softer. Uh, got this, so it's a great, pretty much, pretty much a great value for everything that I've gotten, and it's fun. Um, sorry, the video's long, I'm still getting used to this, so thank you for hanging out, and I will let you know uh, if I do any nail art, oh, also come back and check with me. I should have my Pop Sugar Must Have box for May anytime now. So, very excited about that, and we'll be reviewing that soon. Thank you.